let me just ask you candidly, why should I vote for you um, as, uh, to continue on as uh, judge for the 14th Judicial Circuit? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I started trying cases when I was a second year law student. Much of what a judge does is conduct things that happen in courtroom and, and in hearings. In uh, litigation, uh, as an attorney, uh, at first I prosecuted criminal defense, criminal cases. As an as a de- attorney in private practice, I then defended some criminal defense cases. I've handled just about every kind of civil case you can handle from uh, medical malpractice to car wrecks to uh, products liability, trademark infringements, uh, anything of that nature on both sides, representing individuals, representing small businesses, representing large businesses. Uh, in addition to that experience that I had, uh, I think you mentioned I've tried over 100 jury trials, which each trial you learn something. And when I would have an appeal as an attorney, I would do the brief. I would do the paperwork on the appeal. I myself would go to Tallahassee and handle the appeal. I myself would argue the appeal before the first district court of appeal, which is the three, uh, three appellate judges that you would argue before. And when you go before them, it's three very sharp judges and they ask you every difficult question they can dream of. And that makes you think in your next trial, now what can I do to improve and what area should I be working on? So that's a tremendous benefit. And when I was 32 years old, I argued a case in the Florida Supreme Court, a property rights case. And then you have seven justices of the Florida Supreme Court. And they come out and they grill you. And when I say grill you, they do. They ask you every hard question you can think of. And I was able to to handle those things. And with this depth of experience that I've had, civil, criminal, plaintiff, defendant, prosecutor, criminal defense attorney, I would uh, submit that my qualifications are uh, um, uh, pretty thorough. 